Hello, welcome to your first lesson on quantitative reasoning for the trimester. I am Mr. Ehige and I'll be your director on quantitative reasoning for the trimester. In this lesson, we are going to be looking at test number 8. And in test 8, there are four examples. Alright, let's look, take example number 1. In example number 1, we have concepts of addition and of subtraction also. And we are going to start by looking at the picture. Alright? Now, in the picture, there are five numbers. There is one number at the center, which is a 4. Now, we are going to see how we get this 4, making use of the other 4 numbers. However, first, it is good to note that numbers on a straight line are connected. Alright? And so, we are going to see this on the board. Now, to get the 4, we start with the first line. So, we subtract the numbers on that line. That is 5 minus 2 equal to 3. 5 minus 3 is 3. Then, on the other line, we have... 4 and a 3. So 4 minus 3 is 1. So what do we do with the result? We add them up. So we have 3 plus 1 equal to 4. So that is high. We have 4 at the center. So if we wish to get numbers on the left hand side, we must follow the same procedure. Alright? So let's say we want to start with this first number which is the number 5. So, we make use of the other four numbers. So, we start with the side that is complete. That is the side with the 4 and the 3. So, what do we do? We start by subtracting as we did before. 4 minus 3, that gives us 1. Once we are done doing this subtraction, we need to go back and check the number at the center. Remember, it's a 4. Alright? The number at the center is a 4. So, that is the number we are going to make use of next. So, we try to subtract 1 from this number at the center. And what do we get? Is a 3. Alright? So, once we get the 3, the last step is to add this 3 to the other number on the same line. Alright? So, we have 3 plus 2. And that will give us 5. 3 plus 2 is 5. So, this is how we get the number on the left hand side. So, that is how we got the 5. So, the same procedure is used to get the other number. Now, let's look at on the right hand side. If we wish to get the number 3. Alright, so we make use of all the four numbers. Now again, let's look at the board. We start with the complete side. That is the 5 and the 2. So if we do the subtraction, 5 minus 2, we will get a 3. Now, again, we need to go back and check. The number at the middle is 4. I hope you can remember that. 4 is the number at the middle. So again, we are going to try to this time subtract 3 from this number. And so 4 minus 3 is 1. So the last step is to make use of the other 4. This time around, we are talking about the 4 on the same line with the number you are looking for. Alright? So we have 4 minus 1 that will give us 3. So this is why we have 3 on the right hand side. So the way we get the 3 is the same way we will get the 2 on the right hand side. Alright? So that is all for example number 1. Now let's go to the second example. Where we'll make use of the concept of addition, subtraction, multiplication, and finally division. Now, it's time to look at the picture. Now, first of all, 
we have a picture that has four numbers the vertical and the horizontal numbers now the vertical numbers are used to get the horizontal numbers first how do we get the one on the right hand side well we make use of the other three numbers first when you look at the value of that number which is 12 so it means we have to multiply the number on the vertical side so 4 times 3 is 12 this is how to get the number on the right hand side now again if we wish to get the number on the left hand side this time we are not going to multiply but we are simply going to do addition because the number is a 7 so we have 4 plus 3 that will give us 7 so we add up the vertical number to get the number on the left hand side all right this is quite easy now if we wish to get the number on the vertical side the numbers in the 3 and the 4 position for example let's start with the 3 well we are going to make use of the 7 and the 4 so we have 7 minus 4 well that will give us 3 so the same way we get this 3 is the same way we get the 4 so let's quickly look at the example number 3 where we will make use of multiplication and division all right now first when we look at this line we have 3 4 12 6 and 2 now if we wish to get the 12 we must make use of the first two numbers which is the 3 and the 4 so what do you think you can do with 3 and 4 to get 12 of course it's multiplication because 4 times 3 is 12 4 times 3 is 12 so this is what you do to get the 12 so if also we wish to get the last number on the line which is the 2 we must do something with the two numbers before the 2 which is 12 and 6 12 and 6 All right. so what can we do with 12 and 6 to get 2 of course is to divide them so 12 divided by 6 the result is 2 so this is how we get the last number on the line so we do the reverse to get other numbers in this example example number four we will make use of the concept of addition subtraction multiplication division and the use of imaginary number one so take note of the way we're gonna use the number one first let's look at this line we have three examples each line represents a sub example all right so let's start with the last number on the first line which is a three if we wish to get the three we must make use of the other two numbers on the line and the symbol divide so how do we do this there is an eight and a four so first we divide the eight or the number in the eighth position by the number in the four position so if we do this we are going to get a two now remember there is an imaginary number one imaginary number one all right so if we add this one to this result we will get a three that is two plus one three so this is how we get the three all right so there are still two other numbers we must look for so if we wish to get the four so we must start with the three and the imaginary number one three minus one is two take note one is the imaginary number so once we are done subtracting imaginary number one we divide the 8 by 2 
all right so 8 divided by 2 that is going to give us 4 so this is how we get the 4 all right so the next thing we're going to do is to find the final number which is the 8 making use of the 3 and the 4 we must start with the 3 and the imaginary number 1 so 3 minus 1 is 2 all right so once we get the 2 we multiply the 2 by the other 4 so 4 times 2 gives us 8 so this is how we get the 8 which is the final number all right hope you had much fun watching and learning in today's class do your assignments and your quiz see you in the next class thank you for watching